Welcome to Cool Photoshop. This video comes as a request from a member of the Electric Artist members site and it's to make a perforated grid background. Now the end result of this is a, uh, a perforated background um, designed to go behind a website and in various other graphics. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to make our perforations. So the easiest way to do that is to make a, a new file and make it quite small. Um, sometimes you need to do a bit of trial and error in this. One, two, eight. Actually, no, I'll make it. I'll make it smaller than that. We'll try that. We'll just make a little square file, and I'll zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now we all we really want is a round blob. So I will get my circular selection tool. Here we go. I can just doesn't really matter where this is. It doesn't have to be centered, but I'll center it for proprietary sake. Press delete with black on the background, and I've got my black circle. Okay. The next step is we save that as a pattern. I can name it, but I won't because I'll probably throw it away afterwards. Done. I don't need to save the file. Okay, now this is our actual file. Um, if you were doing it for a specific, say, website background, you will know exactly how big you want to make this file. Um, in my case, I'm just doing it as, as an example, so I'm just going to make a, a standard file. I'll just make it 1500 pixels square. Here we go. I'll just zoom zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on. We get our paint bucket and we choose pattern and we choose the new pattern that we've made and we go click. There we go, there's our our series of dots, our perforated grill. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate that um, I'll just take the background and I'm, I want the background to be black. So we do a select all and delete and we've just got a black background. See? I'll turn the background off. Come up to the foreground layer here. Now once again I select all. Okay, I'll just show you how to do it up there. Normally it's just a com command or control A. In our channels folder, we make a new channel. Again, we can name it, but we won't. Turn the other channels off, and I will paste that original layer in here. Go back to where we were, go back to our layers. And the reason we do this is because if I go up to layer or select, sorry, and I select that background layer, just called Alpha 1. We've now made a selection, in this case of all the white areas. I probably want the holes to be transparent, so I will invert the selection and then press delete. Now what that means is, well actually we'll go up here and I'll show you, we'll go clear. And as you can see, we've got a white grid with a whole bunch of holes, and the holes show through to the background, which I've got switched off at the moment. Now if I just do a Command I, or Control I, I invert the color on this grid, which makes it black. So now we've got a black grid on top of a black background. If we zoom in, you can sort of see there's a few pixels in there that aren't quite black, but that's okay. That probably helps the overall file. What I'm going to do now, if we just come in here and do a layer mask on this grid, you can see where we're heading. Now, 
what I'm going to be doing is making a whole bunch of different layers or a couple of different layers and keeping them adjustable so that depending on how you want to do this um, you can reapply stuff. Um, there's probably quicker and easier ways to do it but in this case um, we'll just set this up yeah about like that um, as I say you can do this however you like but that gives us a little bit of 3D imaging on our grid okay we zoom right out now as I said we'll do this in different layers here so I'm going to duplicate that layer I'm going to get rid of that um, layer mask that I've made on my duplicate layer and now I'm going to add a texture to this layer we'll just put some noise on it um, we want to put some lighting on it but lighting doesn't actually affect pure black so there has to be something there for the lighting to affect uh, and that's why we're adding a little bit of noise not a huge amount just try that yeah that'll do okay now with that, that set I'll just back up a bit there and we will now add our lighting which is render lighting effects now this again this is a lot of experimentation we can sort of play around a bit here um, mm, I've just got to sort of think about exactly where I want this light coming from where I want it centered we'll go OK and really it's hardly actually hardly made a lot of difference to the end result there so mm. we'll bring the other one up to the front maybe try a different merge I think what I'll do is I'm going to increase that lighting effect on the background one there. We'll just go to our render lighting effects and the old one should still be there so really I can just give it a bit more boost turn the spotlight up so to speak. Here we go. We'll zoom in a bit to sort of see what we've got there. Now without that noise in there that um, lighting wouldn't show at all but the noise is just a bit a little bit wrong, a little bit grating so we'll make sure that we've got uh, our transparency locked and we'll go up to blur and this is a, a motion blur take it back and I'm just going to put a little bit of a blur on the, on that noise just a motion blur just to give it a bit of a, a metallic type texture nothing nothing too much all right now this top layer we'll turn that on and the easiest way to make this just to set it back to normal up to full size and we'll come in here into our our blending mode if I make sure we have this selected here I basically turn down the whole layer so that only the effect is showing now I could have both of these two layers as the same layer if we zoom in here you can see the reason I've done it as two separate layers is it gives me a lot more uh, flexibility in deciding how it's going to look okay just take that back a little bit Okay, some final adjustments there. 
Now the last thing is, just for a bit of a uh, bit of a finishing touch, we'll put some text on here. We'll call it the grid and take it up to the top. This is the free version of this video and it has been shortened slightly.